remember that the calibration steps for the standard pH pen and the soil pH pen are the same. Also remember that you should always calibrate starting in pH 7 solution first. Press the power hold button to turn the pen on. Place the probe tip in fresh Blue Lab pH 7 calibration solution. Give the probe a gentle swirl to ensure you've got good contact between the probe glass and the calibration solution. Wait until the rating stops moving. Press and hold the cal button until cal is displayed on the screen. Then release the button. Four small boxes start to flash, indicating the start of calibration. Leave the probe in the solution while the display is flashing. After the boxes stop flashing, you'll see cal displayed on the screen, showing you that calibration is complete. Rinse the probe tip in clean tap water. and then gently shake off any excess water. Next, place the probe tip in fresh Blue Lab pH 4 or pH 10 calibration solution. Give the probe a gentle swirl to ensure you've got good contact between the probe glass and the calibration solution. Then wait for the reading to stabilize. Press and hold the cal button until cal is displayed on the screen. Then release the button. Four small boxes start to flash, indicating the start of calibration. Leave the probe in the solution while the display is flashing. After the four boxes stop flashing, Cal will display on the screen, letting you know that calibration is complete. A check mark will be displayed at the bottom of the screen to indicate a successful calibration. It will disappear after 30 days to indicate calibration is required again. After calibration, rinse the probe tip in fresh clean tap water and shake off any excess water. To maintain a reliable pH reading between calibration, the Blue Lab pH pen should always be calibrated to two points. Also remember that you should always start calibration with pH 7 solution first and then pH 4 or pH 10.